Hello, how are you? John Shopke Barty. Today we are with Marvin Chu live from Singapore. We're going to be doing three courses over the course of the next three months, one a month, enough time in between to give you time to practice the the lessons and the theories from the one class and then we can ask questions at the next one and it's quite a nice separation and we're going to be focusing on essential elements i think was the title for this series so uh, a number of different techniques and theories the first one today we're going to be focusing on trees which is quite an important element in any painting um you've obviously got the focal points the tree might be a focal point in your painting but sometimes when you're doing a landscape you want to have this the realism of trees and i think it's going to be a really great session today where marvin's going to be talking about his techniques and his tips for how to create realistic trees in your paintings anyway let's let's go over to him just before i do uh, if you want any feedback throughout this class um, you can share a picture of what you're doing or any questions you can write on the q a if you're joining us live i think we're going to have a real mixed blend in these classes of some theory theoretical stuff and also actual painting so it uh, should be really fun let's go over and say hello to marvin now hi marvin how are you hello john hello everyone Glad you have joined this um, session with me. Yeah, so, no, um, really looking uh, forward to it. So, so, yeah. <laughs> so trees. Why, why did you pick trees as one of your essential elements? Um, I think as a landscape painter and a plein air painter, um, I'm always outside painting outdoors, and there's trees everywhere. Even when you're painting an urban scene, there are usually some potted plants, or there there will be roadside trees, there are plants everywhere. So uh, they may not be the main subject of uh, of the painting if you're doing, for example, urban scene or, or vast landscape sometimes. But it, most most of the time, it could be just like a like a supplement, like 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 a, a, a guest star in your painting. But to get it right, I think it's very important to make your your landscape painting or street scene painting looks more um, complete and more realistic yeah so um shall we start yeah please let's let's do it Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It would be brilliant. I'm going to use some of those techniques when I when I go back to uh, painting some landscapes. Uh, it'll be really useful. It was great today, Marvin. Thanks for that. I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to the next one as well, which is all about water. We're covering some really key 
uh, key elements of art uh, over these these next few months. So uh, water and reflections will be a really amazing one too. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what people have done over this next month. Just just practice away with your trees uh, and and share photos of it, and we'll have a look and see see what you've done. Um, I would imagine that I, you've you've perfected your your different trees over the years, Marvin. Yeah, I've been painting a lot of landscape trees. Um, yeah, I'm like this is actually a a, a scene near. I think it's called Shropshire. Oh, Shropshire, yes. Shropshire, Shropshire, yeah. But I'm so used to painting tropical trees, so I guess my European tree still looks a bit more tropical. I don't know. I guess <laughs> it's, the, it's the brush strokes or the shape. So you may want to try out uh, what I taught you today, but maybe the brush strokes, you don't go so... Uh, uh, harsh control the stroke so that probably it's so that the, the foliage maybe is tinier so that it may make more of those uh, more uh, temporal climates where where the leaves are tinier because in tropical countries the leaves are huge yeah so yeah. that's what I see every day so that's how I paint trees yes yeah yeah yeah. But it probably does influence you, doesn't it? With uh, with yes, yes, it does. yeah, yeah. No, it's it, and it's it's amazing how different countries have their different style of tree as well. It's it's uh, incredible, rather than just one uniform tree. Um, yeah. So Nancy said, learned a lot. Thank you. Mary Ann said, thank you. Very helpful and informative session. Lots of practice needed. Um, Rona said, thanks so much. And Lada said, thank you for sharing all the tips and techniques for the foliage. So I think I think it would be great to uh, get your feedback throughout this next month uh, as you try it in your landscapes. And then we'll move on to water. And I think at the end of these three months, you'll be able to, I was thinking, how can we combine trees water and people in the at the end of the three months but i'm sure we'll be able to have some painting that has all three components um uh, in in the painting and should be a really great one as well uh marvin thank you so much again for sharing your time today and look looking forward to uh, in a month's time to uh, doing water you're welcome hope you enjoy the session today till then see you yeah, thank you, Marvin. Bye. Bye, everyone.